Are you tired of working a nine to five and just have a dream of building your own business, being a full-time entrepreneur and traveling the world the way you want? Or maybe your job feels like prison and you just can't wait to break free and the only way you can do it is to see all your friends that are entrepreneurs to become one. My name's Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and today's video is how to quit your nine to five to quit your job and to be a full-time entrepreneur in three simple steps. So with that being said, the first one that I have is you want to make sure that you build your emotional intelligence. This one is not going to be sexy, okay? It's not gonna be sexy, but you have to build your emotional intelligence. Well, Joe, what is that? Well, let's put it like this. On the journey of entrepreneurship, it's kind of like this, right? You have ups and downs. If you don't know that, well, maybe it makes a better uh, link if we talk about parenting. If you're a parent, we know that there's good times and then there's like, oh my gosh, times, right? Because I know, you know, with a three-year-old and a one-year-old, it is crazy. <clears throat> so you got to build up your emotional intelligence so that when things are going well, you're not too far over the moon. And when things aren't going as well as planned, that you're not causing yourself to be like, oh my God, it's doom and gloom. We got, we, we're not going to make it. How are we going to make it? Ah! You can't allow yourself to do that. You got to be able to have strong, take control of your emotions, master your emotions so that when difficult things come, you don't run from it. <clears throat> you step up to it. Most people, they run, they're afraid of what's going to happen. If they don't see things going their way, they get scared. Where you got to get good at reframing or uh, giving it a new meaning. Because it could be that this isn't working out for you. First, it might be that life's taking you in a different direction on where you need to be, right? Maybe God's guiding you in a different direction in your business, but maybe a different approach to how you get it out to the world. <clears throat> So the first one is you gotta build that emotional intelligence because working a nine to five, it's like, yeah, okay, it's a little stressful, get back, and it's like, oh, I got paid, and okay, and uh, it's like flatline, right? So you gotta build your int emotional intelligence. So that's number one. Number two is you must have money in your pocket. <clears throat> what do I mean by that? Well, if you're gonna leave your job and build your business, you wanna have that emergency fund built, right? Like you wanna have anywhere from three to 12 months of income. Depends on your psychology, depends on your work ethic, your business, like can you, if everything just went dry, like COVID shut everything down and your business was one of them, right? Like. I don't know what business shut down, like <clears throat> nail salons, right? When COVID hit, no nail salons, right? None, zero, zilch, right? So maybe you started a nail salon, can you survive for three to 12 months? So do you have that money in the bank to pay your personal expenses, right? We wanna make sure that you're not in this oh shit moment, right? Like you're like, oh my God, I'm done. I gotta go get a job and you run. Because I will tell you this, as an entrepreneur, when you're building your business, <clears throat> you're going to have those moments where things don't go your way. Remember, the path to success, that journey to success, that we think is like this, is actually all like this and all this, right? And I'm sure you guys seen that little meme out there, which is really funny. But you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have your downs. So I challenge you <clears throat> to have your income so that if for three to six months you didn't have income coming in, you were building your business and or pouring into your business, you could still pay your bills without getting stressed out, without giving up on your dream, and without running back to corporate America, right? So do you have those reserves in the bank? And depending on your psychology, if you think you, you're more certainty driven, you're like, I need to have a year, then cool, have a year saved up. That's what I recommend. <clears throat> and number three, you gotta have a business that makes money, that pays all your business expenses, and you can pull money to pay for your personal expenses, which means you would take a salary based on your expenses more or less, depending on how you structure it. And you gotta be able to exceed your expenses by 20% or more, depends on you, but I would say 20% because what most people do is they quit, <clears throat> they, they're like, oh, my business is making, you know, I'm, my bills and everything, seven grand a month. My business is pulling in seven grand a month. Well, what happens is uh, your business dips for a moment. Something happens, COVID, right? Phase three or whatever. What are you gonna do? 
But if you have a 20% surplus and it drops to 11%, you're cool, you're selling a profit. If it drops 20%, you're still cool, you're equal. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I would say it needs to be that way for about six months. The reason being is because, yeah, you can have a great month. You know, I've had incredible months, but not every month is like at the peak, right? And so there's kind of like this baseline. You gotta make sure this is coming in consistently. More than that, you know how you've got it coming in consistently. You have a map where you can be able to print, I don't wanna say print money, but you can expect a certain amount of money to come in. You know, I coach a lot of Facebook ad people and internet marketers, and they can tell you based on their data, if I put $1 in, I get $1.37 out, or I get $5 out. And so it's like, great, well, why not put in 50, you know, 100,000? And if you're getting $5, you're gonna get 500,000. Makes sense. So you gotta have it for a consistent period of time. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> now. I'm gonna say, there's a great book I encourage you all to read. I saved it to the end because if you're watching still, you know that I value you and I wanna give you a resource instead of someone just taking it in the beginning of running and not listening to this, which wouldn't make sense. But in the book, the originals, they did a study of two groups. One group that quit their job, cold turkey, and went into entrepreneurship, full-fledged. Burned the boats, let's go. Group two, <clears throat> what they did was they had them continue at their nine to five job and build their entrepreneurial business on the side until it beat their income at their job. So I forget what the extended period of time was, maybe a year or two years. And what the studies revealed, the results were the group that actually built their business on the side while working their job had far more success than the people who burned the ships. Now you might say, well, Look at Tony Robbins, or look at all these other people, Mark Cuban. <clears throat> okay, cool. That happens. There's going to be stats for that. But when we look at the majority of people, we're looking at a mass group. The group that built it on the side had better success. I'm not here to tell you what to do. But what I would encourage you to do is what feels right for you. Know thyself is my first rule in coaching. And so how are you wired? If you're wired, I have a buddy of mine, his name's Derek, he, he makes things happen, right? He just, he, he, he has an idea and he goes out and he makes things happen, he succeeds. He doesn't need like a secure this or secure that, he always finds a way to succeed. And if you're that way, you may wanna burn the boats. However, even, that, even Derek could be able to play on the side where he could build something on the side if he chose to, right? And every, I want you to know everything is a choice for you, but the studies show that you'll have better success. Well, I started thinking like, why is that? Well, you're not pressured for money because your expenses are paid over. Yeah, you're gonna have to sacrifice your time. Yeah, it might take longer to get to your goal, but you're not gonna feel stressed. You're not gonna feel the pressure. You're not gonna bring that home to your wife, your kids, your husband, whoever, your dog, or you're not gonna bring it home to them. You're gonna be able to say, okay, I'm providing and I'm watching my business grow. You can be able to invest more into your business even also too, depending if you're doing ads or material, or product, or whatever it might be, right? So it's up to you, but check out that book, The Originals. I think it's in like the first third of the book. So check it out. It's a good book regardless. But those are the three simple steps that you can take because you gotta master your emotions. Otherwise, you make decisions out of fear, desperation, um, doubt, right? And that's not a healthy place to be. <clears throat> Tony Robbins says it best, see things as they are, but not worse than they are. And then you can only do that when you're looking through the lens, this lens that I was just about to touch on my camera. When you look at it through the lens of seeing things as they are, but not worse than they are, versus the lens of fear, right? So you gotta have the emotional intelligence. You gotta master your emotions first and foremost. I don't care what business you're in, no matter what happens. Because here's what I know is the bigger you get, the more of a target you are, right? And the bigger your target you are, the more lawsuits that will come. And hopefully you're ready for your lawsuits. Number two, put money away. Have your emergency fund for your expenses, three to 12 months, whatever that is for you. And number three, is have a business that exceeds your expenses by 20% or more so that you can feel comfortable that if you do have a dip or something like that, you're able to sustain it, right? And if you do have a dip greater than 20%, you also have money in the bank to cover the difference in what you may need. Those are the three simple steps. You, I don't know what business you wanna start. I don't know what business you started. 
But if you can master your emotions, have your money put away for a rainy day, and then quit your job once, your entrepreneur journey has exceeded 20% of the expenses or more, you're sitting in a really good position. And so I'll tell you, I left corporate America on lesser terms, but I, I was going to school with the Marine Corps, so that kind of helped bridge the gap a little bit as I, was, as I was building my business. Everyone's story is different, so is yours. So I encourage you to know thyself, but utilize these three simple steps because these principles will allow you to have far greater success on your journey. Stop thinking you gotta be like the guy who quit everything and build a billion dollar company because those are anomalies. How many, well, I'll say <clears throat> there are billion dollar companies, but not everyone does what those people do, right? Statistically speaking. So if you're looking for someone, you're looking to say, Joe, I would just love to have 20 grand a month come in. My expenses are $6,000 a month for my wife and two kids. Cool, you want 20 grand a month? That would give you a freedom lifestyle? Awesome. In fact, I coach people how to do that. It's not hard. It's not hard. I'm, I mean, I, I really am baffled by people who think that it's impossible. But if you're one of those people, you're like, Joe, I wanna quit my job. I'd love to have it and I'm willing to invest in my freedom for years to come because success is in an overnight journey, then go to the masterlifebydesign.com and go to the coaching page and fill out the coaching application and see if we're a fit to work with me or one of my coaches. Because I'll tell you, when you are free, whatever money you invested in yourself or your business, it's gonna be worth it. Because I was just taking out the trash or grabbing the trash cans this morning and I'm like, man, how awesome is it that if I don't want to coach, I can cancel all my calls today? How awesome is it to see my investments going up because of the decisions I made years ago? How awesome is it to be the man I am today for my wife and children because of who and what I, I invested in myself decades a decade plus ago? I don't want to say decades because I'm only 36. All right, that would put me at 16. I wasn't investing in myself at 16. I thought I was a little gangster. How times have changed. Ugh. So... Anyway, just having some fun. But if that's you, fill out the co coaching application so we can help. With that, though, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe. Make sure you get the notification bell right next to it. Hit that bad boy, too, so you can no get notified when that um, when our videos come out so that you can uh, check them out, view them, watch them. And the well, watch time helps. The likes help. The shares, the subscribes, the, all of that. So please make sure you do that if you're finding value in these videos. And if you're new here, I appreciate you jumping in. And if you do subscribe, I want to give you a, a shout out on my next video. So go implement these three simple steps. I look forward to hearing about your success and getting free. So with that, Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.